Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I completely missed it in last night's upload, but there was a Icon Swaps 4 token that was added to the code, and we have to talk about that because Icon Swaps are usually released on Mondays, and I think it's gonna be coming out today. I wanna talk about today's content on Monday, kind of a Market Outlook video kind of built in as well as it is Sunday night into Monday morning. Per usual, we'll do the Market Outlook for this week and the last week of batch two of footies. But I really wanna talk about this swap token because again, I thought we were just gonna have three rounds of icon swaps, but EA Sports said, hold up, here's a fourth. So I don't exactly know how this is gonna work out today, but it looks like we're gonna get new icon swaps, man. In basically the middle of August, we are getting new icon swaps. Now the biggest hope with these is that we will have FIFA 22 related rewards as a part of these icon swaps. But the only thing that I haven't seen yet and that I'm a bit interested in is if there is gonna be something new related to FIFA 21, we haven't seen any new pack code that has been added, which also makes me kind of interested to see what this icon swaps for is really gonna be about. What are they gonna give us in mi the middle of August with literally three weeks to go, four weeks to go of this game before it's done? that people would actually want to go out and do icon swap objectives for it. So it better be really good rewards or rewards related to FIFA 22 because we are getting into that time frame where like last year in the preseason promo in foot 20, we got rewards from playing foot 20 that transferred over into FIFA 21, like coin boosts, chemistry styles, kits. Uh, there was pack objectives that they were, that they released later on. So, um, I'm hoping that that is kind of how the foot watch, and I've seen a lot of people tweeting about this, a lot of people talking about this. Really, really hope that this icon swaps uh, that is released hopefully today, because Mondays are usually usually icon swaps days. I believe the last three times they've done icon swaps, it's actually dropped on a Monday. So the objectives today will probably be a place on uh, the content drop that you want to take a look for. Of course, that stuff is not around and not out right now, but we'll be taking a look for that really, really soon today on Monday and also under the SBC tab uh, for swaps, there'll be more stuff back in here. So I'm really curious to see what it is that they dropped today. I really hope it's related to FIFA 22, but if it is FIFA 21 content, man, I don't know, like th there better be some big icons that haven't gotten icon SBCs dropping in this game. And maybe that's what they're gonna do. Maybe they're gonna make icon swaps really easy with just a few tokens that are gonna give us some of the icons that we have not actually seen yet in an SBC. Uh, R9, Maldini and Vieira were two cards that we thought were going to come yesterday on Sunday. Like Sunday's content yesterday was, oof, not so good. So we'll talk about that too. But hopefully today's swaps is good. Whatever it is related to FIFA 21 or FIFA 22. And I think since I've kind of set my mind on some FIFA 22 type content available from the icon swaps, I think if it's anything other than that, unless it's an insane, insane set of, of availability with tokens and stuff, um, and it's like a very easy grind, especially for this stage of the game. I think I might be a bit underwhelmed and disappointed, but hopefully EA delivers on that today. I just did not think that we were going to get icon swap tokens since it is freaking August in the middle of August. I wasn't expecting to see another round of swaps released. So that is interesting to me to say the least. We will see what happens today on Monday. Also, Mondays have been player pick league specific days. The Bundesliga player pick, of course, kind of set the tone for all of last week for the footies Bundesliga player pick with the Bundesliga weekend league requirements and then a ton of objectives and SBCs based around the Bundesliga last week. Um, I'm really curious to see who they drop today because this will be the fourth week in a row. Syria or League One is supposedly who you would think to be the next league to pop in. So of course, what we talked about in last night's video was just keep an eye on some of these League One cards that are specials out of packs and some of the Serie A cards. I think really people are focusing on Serie A because you're seeing Chiesa is up, Chiellini is up. Some of these Serie A items that are out of packs are up. Wow, that Neymar is low at 3.49. That's pretty low. Uh, but as I look across the rest of the market, Locatelli, 130K, it's still kind of higher, right? Uh, Spinazzola, 100,000 coins. Um, some of the other Serie A cards are up in price. I think it's because people are expecting to see Serie A as the league that this week will bring for kind of like um, 
the focus right now whatever player pick we get today if it is a league specific player pick if we get one which we have the past three mondays so of course we're expecting it on the fourth that is probably going to be the league that would be a weekend league plus requirement if they're going to continue that schedule so of course what you're going to see is if it is a syria or a league one player pick today you're going to see some of those special cards go up further on the market i think you're going to start to see that even this morning as you head into monday i think people are actually going to be going out and buying up some of those cards because they want to get ahead of the game and they think it's going to be one of those two leagues next um, so just kind of keep an eye on that but definitely a surge if you see a Serie A footies player pick today, that'll be a definite surge for those special cards because that's will make people think that will be the next week in league requirements. Of course, we won't find out until tomorrow on Tuesday, but that is one thing on Mondays that we have seen almost exclusively. Now, also, usually we see player SBCs on Mondays, but we had a hidden gem SBC for uh, George, I don't even know. I've never even heard this guy's name before. If I'm being hundred percent honest, just like a lot of you guys that saw this card released yesterday on Sunday. Um, it's a decent looking card. He got a huge boost from a 63 rated with 30 pace, 33 dribbling, 33 passing. I mean, absolute crazy uh, boost on this card. Uh, but again, a lot of people don't like it, I think, because A, they don't know who the guy is, and Bundesliga, of course, with the weekend league being over, um, unless you have a special affinity for this card, it doesn't look that super duper meta with medium, medium work rates and absolutely no traits. So evidently, adding traits to players is not a thing they can easily do, as we found out with Holland or Vardy not getting that SBC. But this is a cool card. GG's the EA. It's fun content. Hidden gem. I didn't know this guy was a hidden gem. Maybe I missed the boat on this one. Um, but usually we get that SBC, either, either a hidden gem or a transfer SBC player on Monday. So I'm wondering, with icon swaps today, is that why they didn't release an icon player SBC? Because today's content is going to be more icon related. And is that why they moved a hidden gem SBC from potentially Monday today back one day and they did it yesterday? So that's just kind of my thinking along those lines. We will see what drops. It could be a decent day of content today on Monday. People love icon swaps just for the grindability. So as long as that what is dropping today and EA isn't just trolling us by adding that card design in the code, Today on Monday might be an absolute pretty decent day of content with a footies player pick being out, maybe a player SBC and icon swap. So actually low key kind of excited for that. We will see what happens today in that realm of the market. Now, speaking of the market, a lot of stuff again is down, right? We talked about a lot of these Bundesliga cards getting really low. And as you take a look at the sell off, that is exactly what is happening. Goretzka, 270,000 coins. Davies, 87K. Sancho, 283. They are lower than what they were last week on Sunday night into Monday um, when everybody was selling off. And again, that's always what happens. Neuer, 39,000 coins. Lewandowski is 132K. He was 200,000 coins at one point. So huge drop-offs as expected on a lot of these cards. Some of them will bounce back, like Goretzka and Sancho would be the top two guys I would be keeping my eyes on. Maybe even Davies as well. We saw this happen last week with some of the Prem cards, and we saw it happen two weeks ago with some of the La Liga ones. You know, Goretzka and Sancho are hyped enough, and it looks like these menus are still having glitch issues at the moment where it's showing you like all the different card types on the game, and it's not just showing you like the actual ones that are available on the market. Because as you can see here, when I clicked, uh, you can see there are uh, pro player cards in here. There's uh, player of the months, which are obviously not on the market. Icon swapped, locked items. I'm guessing this locked item right here would be the icon swap four card type. Um, player rarity 29. What the heck is that? No idea what that is. So um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that market or that part of the market right now. But watch your bonus league of cards because there's definitely a lot of sell off happening right now. And some of the rare ones. Uh, it could definitely bounce back up after that, that panic ends. So 279 for Sancho. Oof, that's getting cheap, man. That is getting very, very cheap as there's how many pages of 300K? One, two, all right, there's a couple pages. So maybe you, you check uh, or get a cheeky bid on one of those cards tonight. That's one area of the market I'd be looking out for. Also, since the upgrade packs yesterday were bad, man, and that's the thing. We, we called this last night too. We said the second week of the batch is always 
the bad week in terms of upgrade packs and grindable content. At least we still have the 85 times 10 holding on for a couple more days. This is going to be an SBC a lot of people do in the next two days to try to craft and get them saved up for batch three, which is coming on Friday. So, of course, watch out for your rare gold still staying a bit higher this week as we have demand for that SBC. But an 83 to 89 player pick and the 82 plus player pick again requiring 81 rated squads. That's just the biggest L. That is literally, or sorry, the 82 plus player pick. Yo, I did not look at that one. The 82 plus player pick, that ain't that bad. 82 plus player pick. Four gold, four rare players, 60 chemistry. All right, I digress. I literally looked at the content for two seconds today uh, before deciding my opinions. And man, this is the one that I saw. The 83 to 89, that is not a good SBC. But the 82 plus player pick's not bad, and it is repeatable. So that's nice, at least. It's not too bad, right? It is some sort of grindable. We'll see how good they are. We'll try a few on stream. But... Um, again, we always know that the second week is just not as good. These usually don't pay out that well. So that's why I'm not that excited about them still, but we'll see how they are. But the second week for the upgrade packs is usually not as good as the first week. And that kind of reigns true again here, unless these 82 plus player picks are actually, actually decent. So I mean, I might give a few of those a shot, but the 85 times 10 are still going to be the way to go in my opinion so also later on this week and i know we do a little bit of a market outlook as aspect to this um with that 85 times 10 going away hopefully some of your rare golds back down and ea sports again drop that draft token milestone or that draft token sbc since we still have the draft days milestone re-release that um that token for foot draft we really need that because right now it's not very fun to do draft without having tokens i'm probably not going to play any more any more draft games man and i would like to get this rooney that'd be a bit of a grind still but i don't i'm not going to play any draft if i don't have any tokens so just drop the tokens right there's no way people finished all of these games you're not giving the casual community enough time to win 48 uh, foot draft games if they really wanted to grind after this and get some of these cards definitely not like what was it like a week and a half definitely not enough time for most people with that draft token objective now of course you could say oh you should have stacked them which yeah i should have stacked a few of them but hey here we are i think esports should just re-release that sbc anyway so uh that is my opinion on that also man i cannot talk about a video today without mentioning the messy press conference i watched snippets of it i mean it was crazy man i was even Brought the tears slightly because this man, you can you can tell, just absolutely loves his club. He loves his club and he doesn't want to leave. But it's just the situation that it is, man. And that is that is football, the business side of things a little bit. And some of the rules that are in play, uh, which definitely sucks a little bit, right? Because you can see that Messi does not want to go. But it does seem that Messi's going to PSG, which will be very interesting in its own right. But, I mean, man, what an absolute player and just kind of... It, yesterday was a monumental day, man. This what we are witnessing right now with Messi transferring clubs is monumental because this is literally a a goat, one of the goats, regardless of who your favorite is, Ronaldo, Messi, R9, Pelé, whatever. This is a goat, right? In the the scheme of history of football, and a transfer uh, going on where he doesn't want to move, and he, a club that he's been at for however many years was like 16 plus or something like that. Unbelievable, man. So that was kind of just crazy we all witnessed history yesterday if you think of it that way with that press conference that was pretty nuts so i couldn't go without saying something about messi in today's video i definitely hope that i can get my hands on his 99 rated summer stars item at some point i really want to pack that card next week when he's in packs because i would absolutely love that uh to use a, the highest level of messi in this game as kind of a tribute and enjoy him with my links to dabala to the gomez card that i have i have the bronze squad active right now but you know i have a, a couple nice uh, argentinian links that would be great to link up that messy card with so also fifa 22 related content as we talked about maybe for icon swaps or whatever man oh man how sick would it be for a once to watch Messi in fifa 22 i don't think ea sports can pass up that opportunity chelsea with lukaku i mean once to watch is looking really really spicy again as it usually does when we get towards the end of the transfer window, but especially this year with Messi being thrown in there, it's going to be nuts. So that's kind of the video for today, boys. Again, today's actually a pretty big day. If they were actually getting icon swaps, um, we're really going to be curious about that because whether it's icon related content or FIFA 22 related content or a mixture of both, um, hopefully EA keeps us engaged in that in that terms. 
Um, and hopefully it's not just some icon swaps this year. I've been honestly, except for the swaps three have been a big L. So hopefully that changes today, but we will see at the content drop. If you want to join us, Twitch link is down below. We'll be live streaming there at the content drop today on Monday. But if you enjoyed this video, boys, leave a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.